Hey guys, it's Saturday. I'm here at uh, Montecrest Church. We're doing a, a benefit concert later tonight, so just getting all the stuff ready. Just brought a bunch of stuff in. Uh, bands are now practicing and stuff for later tonight. Um, but I just wanted to just make a real quick video for you today, an encouraging video for those of you out there um, who are just feeling maybe a little bit discouraged this week. Um, I was... Uh, asked by someone, I was asked by someone, and, and I'm sure there's many people out there that are wondering, you know, when they see these videos, when they, when they hear these stories of these people, they say, well, you know, that's a, that's a great thing, whatever, um, but, but, but why, why talk about your struggles? Why talk about uh, these kinds of things? Why talk about the darkness? Um, and, you know, they say, well, like, for example, when we talked about porn in this one video, they were like, well, you could say, well, I struggle with porn and just leave it at that. Why do you have to go into the details of saying, you know, um, you know, how long you struggle with it and and why it was an issue and, and why, why really get deep into the darkness of these issues? Why not just mention them and go beyond with it, beyond to the to the good? Um, and uh, my favorite author is a guy named Ted Decker. And uh, years ago, he said something that has stuck with me for a very long time. And he said, when you're painting the picture of darkness, you know, when you're talking about darkness, when you're talking about sin, paint the picture entirely black. Don't use grays, don't use just, you know, hints of, hints of darkness. Paint the picture entirely black. And again, then the question is, well, why, why would you do that? Why, why talk about it in that deeply? Um, because then he goes on to say, because then when the light shines in the darkness, it shines all the brighter. So when we paint the picture entirely black, when we're completely honest and upfront about, hey, you know what, I struggled with this, and not only that, but it was for years. Um, or we say, you know, hey, this has been a problem and it's still a problem in my life. Um, when we're completely honest and we paint the picture as dark and as bleak and as hopeless as it seems, um, what we're really doing is we are, we, we are allowing, when we get to that point in our life, or whether it's already happened or whether it's going to happen, um, we, we essentially, what we're doing is, we're saying the, the light can shine in all of its brilliance, and, and it's brighter than ever before. It's not just a little light like through the gray, and, and oh, well, that's, that's nice, that's a nice Jesus story, but it's like, no, this has changed my life. Um, and I was talking to my other friend the other day. Um, some know him as Trey, some know him as Troy, some know him as George III, uh, George Sisson III. Uh, but we were talking on Facebook and um, just about a bunch of different things. And um, he posted this, you know, now on Facebook they have these stickers that you can put. So it's a huge, like, instead of just a little smiley face, it's this huge smiley face. And I, I in response to that, said that was larger than life. And he said, um, is there any other way? And that kind of led us into this conversation, like, about the reality of, you know, Christianity and um, the reality of living your life openly. And um, he, he just said, you know, there's, it's, it, people are so, yeah, come on in. Come join me. So this is uh, my friend Hoagie and my friend Billy here. He just walked out. Um, but um, this guy said, so he, so he said, like, is there any other way? Like, is there any other way to live your life than either fully in or fully out. Um, and so, you know, sometimes we like to do that. We like to get into the gray and we like to be like, oh, I'm kind of in, but not really. Um, and the reality is, is there's no other way. And, and Peter, Peter figured this out in, in John 6, and this is the last thing I want to say is, is um, there were all these people that walked away from Jesus. They're like, this is just too hard. Like loving your enemies, doing all this stuff, that's just way too hard. I can't do it. And Jesus turns to his followers and says, his, his 12 best friends, his disciples, and says like, are you guys going to go too? And uh, they say, Peter actually says, says, where would we go? You hold the keys to eternal life like you not only in the future, but now, like, you lead us into the best way of living. Like, where are we going to go? Um, what else is there? And so today, um, th that's the question you got to ask yourself. Like, where do you want to be? Like, where are you going to go? Um, and when these people come up and when, when things come up in your life that kind of discourage you um, or different situations, just remember those things. Remember, um, is there any other way? Like, is there any other way to live um, besides this transparency, besides this? Or, or, I mean, there is another way to live. There is another way, and it's called fear, and it's called um, these chains that have held you down. Um, but do you want to live that way anymore? Um, and I know for a lot of people it's really hard. It's really hard to, to make a video. Well, we're not asking you to make a video. I mean, if you want to, that's great. What we're asking you to do is live your life um, 
in transparency with those around you, with the people that you love the most. That doesn't mean you have to go public, it just means you have to, to, to be honest with the people around you. So that's just a word for today, and um, we will see you tomorrow.